welcome back everyone. I really hope you're all doing well. I wanted to show you what I've been up to in the garden for the past week. It's really all starting to come together now. I finally got round to getting some fairy lights and I got these from Lights for Fun. So I have got power in the corner here. So they run up the wall and just along the edge of the pergola. Pretty much 95% of the lights in my garden are from Lights for Fun. So I highly recommend them if you're looking for some festoon lights, lanterns or fairy lights for your garden. These are the little cup hooks that I used to hang up the fairy lights. So I just drilled a small hole and then just screwed them in. I'll link these below for you. I got these from Amazon. The perfect size for hanging fairy lights. So around these edges it was quite easy because I could use my drill, but when it came to this bit here, there wasn't enough room for me to use my drill. So I had to use a pin vise. It's like a little miniature drill. So if there's any tricky areas you can't get to with your drill, I recommend using a pin vise. I still haven't got round to varnishing the bamboo cladding at the front of the bar, but I have managed to stain the top of the bar and I ended up using the same stuff that I used on my Trader Tark tiki carving, which was the Sickens stain that I used for my pergola. It's really heavy duty and it should last for about five years, hopefully. I really needed something that will last a long time on the top here because this is the part that gets weathered the most. And I really like all the different contrasting finishes on the bar. I think it looks really nice. So I waited a couple of days for this to dry and then I reapplied my rope. I also hung some Spanish moss from the bar. This actually fell off the Spanish moss I've got hanging in the pergola and I found a little snail at the top of it so I'm assuming it had munched through the top part and then this piece dropped off. I'm really loving how the bar is looking. I do have a couple of things that I wanted to add in there that I'm still waiting for. One of the things I ordered quite a while ago from Etsy in the US, but I'll show you that when it arrives, hopefully before the end of the summer, before I have to pack up the bar. The weather's been really gloomy and quite cold. I'm actually wearing leggings and a jumper today, so that's how uh, cold it is. I've also got some new plants to show you. If I remember where I have planted them, this is the first one down here. I've put some little signs in front of them so I remember what they're called. This is an annual but I just couldn't resist the beautiful flowers. This is the next plant that I picked up. Absolutely stunning. This one will come back each year. So I finally got round to planting the back of the island. It still needs to fill out a bit, but it's looking much better. I also picked up this Crocosmia in a different colour. I've got lots of uh, red Crocosmia, but I wanted something that was a bit contrasting. Uh, this one is called Buttercup. It's really pretty. So just a nice contrast from the red colour. My musifolia are doing really well. Look how big the leaves are. Still getting devoured by, I don't know, caterpillars or snails, but they're doing well. The gladioli is flowering. It's so pretty. There's a couple more flower spikes there. So I picked up this viburnum. I do understand that this is gonna grow into a bit of a bush but I'm quite happy to prune it so that it doesn't take up too much room. I might have to end up moving a few things next year, we'll just see how it goes. But I thought this was um, a lovely evergreen plant that has a little bit of a tropical look to it. So I had a couple of forest flames in pots that I've also planted at the back here. Again these can get quite big but I'm happy to prune them back and just see how it goes. I picked up this little fern to fill this gap. He should do quite well there because it's quite a shady spot. And then I also dug up these from my front garden. And again, these will kind of bush out and fill out this space. I do have one of these already over here. I think it looks really pretty, especially when it gets the red foliage. 
An update on my nautical decking. So the carpenter's currently working on the decking at his home workshop. He's making it as one piece and then he's going to bring it over and fit it. The reason why it's taking so long is because I'm only actually paying for the materials. He's not charging me for the labour, so he's kindly making the decking in his spare time. And it's actually quite complex. It's not um, something you would normally see in a garden. And I'm really looking forward to showing you that, hopefully, in the next few weeks. He does keep sending me um, photo and video updates, so I might actually make a little montage of him making it. But I'm really excited to see the finished result as that's just going to complete the garden. And then I was looking at getting a nice um, deck chair to go on the decking and I've got some lanterns as well. So I did have a little go at sanding the wooden edging and I might stain it before the decking goes down. I do need to sand it a bit more. It's quite green and weathered over in this corner because this is my shady corner. So I just wanted to show you how everything is looking. Again, a lot of the stuff is quite behind this year because we have had such um, a rubbish spring and the summer hasn't been great to be honest. So even my Colocasia esculenta is still really behind. It's not very big, but it has multiplied. So I've got about four now, so that's quite good. But if you compare it to my pink china, which stays in the ground all year. It's much bigger and it has multiplied into quite a few plants. Hard to believe this started off as two tiny plug plants, which I got from Turnip Tropical. My cannas have finally started to flower. So these get left in the ground all year. They're very behind this year, but we've got another flower about to come out there. This is one of my favourite cannas, the Cleopatra. It's got beautiful red and yellow flowers. If you're looking to follow some other tropical gardening YouTubers, I'll attach them on the screen for you. These are the channels that I personally follow. They give really good advice. I love how everyone's tropical gardens are so different and we all grow different varieties of plants. So hopefully in a few weeks, once the decking's down, I'm looking to do a full um, garden walk around with the plant names and some nice relaxing music and also a nighttime tour. It looks so beautiful at night, it's very magical. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. I also picked up this wooden sign from Etsy, which I've just hung on the side of the fence for now. It looks quite nice there. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the video. The garden is almost finished. Well, it'll never be completely finished, will it? It's always a work in progress, but it's really coming together now and I'm loving how it looks. It will be quite sad when um, the autumn weather comes around and I'll have to cover the bar, but at least this year I'll have the pergola so I can actually still come out here in the winter and sit underneath it. I'm going to keep my sofa and coffee table uncovered this year. I will put the cushions away but everything else will stay out. Take care everyone, happy gardening and I'll see you all soon.